Hi guys, it's Aurelius. In this video, you are going to learn how to make an ebook on your mobile device in Canva quickly and easily. So check this out. I've got a number of pages here, a title page, we've got body content, another different type of layout, an exercise page, and even a checklist that I've added from a different template. So you can do all this on your mobile device and I'm going to show you how in this tutorial. All right, so the first thing you're going to wanna do is install the Canva app on your mobile device, whether you use an Android or an iOS device. Then you wanna make sure you have a Canva account. You don't necessarily need a Canva Pro account or a paid account, unless you do, of course, need extra stock photos, extra fonts, and templates that they provide that are available for Pro users only. But if you want a full 30-day trial of Canva Pro, look down in the description box below where I provided a link for that. Once that's all good, launch the Canva app on your mobile device. Now, the most obvious way to search up templates is to use the search bar at the top and searching for the template. So in this case, we are creating an ebook. So you can search for ebook. However, there's a bunch of templates here that may not be relevant. And I found a better way to search for ebook templates with multiple layouts and pages within that template is to use the plus icon. So go back to the home and then click the purple plus icon. And from here, what we're going to do is search for A4 document, but you can see it right here, A4 document. So tap that. If you don't see it, simply search for it by going back. And from here, you can go to templates and search for a particular template. In this case, we can simply search for ebook. The results are different to what you would have gotten if you searched for ebook back on the homepage, as I showed you before. We can see right now with this example, the self-care hacks for entrepreneurs. If you look on the bottom right corner of it, there's eight pages. That's an indication that there are multiple pages. If you don't see any like this one here where it says financial workshop, that means there's only that one single page in that template. Let's take a look at a few other examples. We've got this wellness handbook, which is a pro template. And that may be another good reason why to upgrade to a Canva Pro account because you then get these pro templates that are only available, of course, for paid members. But in this demonstration, I'm going to choose one of the free templates. And this one right here where it says grow your brand on social media, looks like a good one. There are 10 available layouts to choose from or that's within this template. So let's tap on that once. And now you can see what it looks like. It may not be the color scheme of your choice, but that's easy to fix once we open up this template. Now you can either choose one of the templates or you can apply all 10 pages. We wanna choose all of them, so we are given more choices in terms of the layout. So let's select apply all 10 pages at the top and from there, we can now swipe across to see what it all looks like. This is a pretty good template right off the bat and we can insert our text straight away by going to one of these pages, but we will start by editing the title page. It's as simple as tapping once on an element that you see uh, on the template. So like this one here, which is the actual title, and we will backspace and let's call this uh, solo printer success. You can also change the byline at the bottom right here. So instead of this uh, placeholder, we'll put in uh, my name right here. So I'll put it in. And let's say you wanna undo something or a mistake. You can always go to the top and there's an undo button. So you can see I've done that and I can also redo by going back. From here, we can edit anything we want. So let's say this background, let's tap on the background anywhere and you can see the color. Let's change it to, let's say gray. So you can go to the default colors or you can choose a custom color by going right here where it says the plus and you can see that color palette, square color palette that is, and then choosing anything we want as you can see what I'm doing here. So depending on your brand colors, for me, I like to stick with the gray tones and I've got a set of uh, styling uh, colors right here. So this one right here, that's the color that I like. So we'll stick with that. Also the font, we can select it and edit it further by tapping it 
And then if you look right here, we can actually change the font style by selecting font and then choosing one of these. But in my opinion, if you are going to use one of these templates, they've selected appropriate fonts that go with or com they're a good combination with. Sticking with what we have is probably the best approach unless you have, of course, your own sets of fonts that you want to use or a combination of fonts. What you can also do is change the color of the font. We can format it so we can either make a bold italics underline or not and align it to the left, right or justified and the spacing as well, how much spacing you want in between. So the letter spacing, line spacing. So as you can see, we can widen it. Let's stick with the zero here and line spacing as well. But that looks pretty good already. Now, once you are done with the title page, we can move on to the actual body content. Let's say this one here, which is the introduction. And let's play around with this one here. We can start by replacing the image at the top and then there's a replace button at the bottom. Tap that once. You can choose your camera roll or go to photos and then selecting one of the stock photos available to use. Let's say I want to search for laptop since it goes with the solopreneur success kind of theme. We've got some pretty good ones here. Some are pro images, as you can see with the little pro tab but let's stick with a free option. Let's say this one here, looks pretty good. And it's just a matter of going into the text and then deleting and entering whatever you want there. Now, another way you can enter some text is to go to your notes or your text editor on your mobile device and then copying and pasting it once you're done with it. If that is a, an easier way for you to go and create the actual uh, content. Otherwise you can go in here and then type away. On the next page, you can see another type of page, another layout, same deal here, selecting anything you want, changing the color scheme, let's say to this gray here, and then replacing this image with another. Now behind it is actually a frame. So no matter what image you place, it will replace or retain that size or that shape more so. So if we delete it, you will see what I mean. So we'll delete the image and you can see there, there is a frame. Uh, in this case, it's a grid, which is what they call it. But the easiest way is to simply replace what's existing. So I'll tap on replace, selecting an image, and now you can see the replaced image. If we double tap, you can align whatever you want to actually appear. So in this case, I want part of the laptop and the little notebook or the sticky notes and then press done. So there we go. What I want to also do is edit this text and add some of my text from my uh, note taker. I've got notes open on my iPhone and you can see that I've drafted out a, an example of an ebook that I want on this actual template. So we've got the introduction, we've got chapter one, and some of these points I wanna add. So let's say you do end up typing it away on your notes app, as opposed to doing it on Canva, which is what I suggest, because you don't want to be limited to what the template uh, provides and what how the template is laid out. So rather than that, focus on creating the content, writing out your content first, and then pasting whatever you want to the template. So let's say this one here, chapter one, choosing your business focus. I wanted to copy all these points. So I'll select it all, copy it, go back to Canva. And right here is where I want to paste in what I just copied. So I'll delete everything and then pasting the points. And right off the bat, you can see the bulleted points. Now, a little tip here to view all your pages because we are working on our mobile device, it's really hard to see and it's very limited in terms of the display. So what we can do is use the more option at the top or what looks like a, a ellipsis. And then we can change the view to thumbnail view and we can see everything right there. All the pages, there are 10 pages in this template or we can view it in a grid view like so. So that gives you a better view and we can navigate throughout the ebook, perhaps even arranging some of the pages. Let's say this one here, we hold the page that we want 
and then dragging wherever we want to rearrange it. So right there, it's now on page four. To get to a specific page, once you are in this view, you can simply double tap it and then that will take you to that single page view. From here, you rinse and repeat. You enter the content that you want to the pages, but you don't necessarily need to use all the pages provided in the template. Let's say we do not want to use this page right here. You want to make sure that you switch it to a grid view, and then you'll get an option to delete any page that you want. So let's say if page five, there's a delete button right there, and there we go. Another scenario may be, how do you add more pages to your ebook? Because this particular template only provided 10 pages, how do you go about adding more pages to this? Well, it's quite simple, but the first thing you're going to wanna to do is to know which pages you want to duplicate. Figure out what it is, and because we've already worked on this page in particular, and let's say this will be our main body content template. This means for our second, third, fourth pages for this particular chapter, it's going to look the same. So what you're going to wanna do is make sure again, you switch over to the grid view, which is the easiest way to do it. And then let's say we wanna copy this, the third page. There's a duplicate button, and now we've made another copy. And when I double tap, we've got two copies. Now we can continue on writing our content for this particular chapter. Here's another tip. What you can also do is incorporate other layouts and templates in Canva. So what you can do is press the plus icon. And from here, let's say we want to add a checklist to our ebook. Let's go and search for checklist. And let's say I want to add this particular checklist. It is a pro one, but let's just use it in this demo. It's going to ask you add template as new page. And that's what we wanna do. Click on add as new page. From here, simply add your content. If we go back to our grid view, you can see where it is. Of course, we can rearrange it by holding it and then just dragging it where we want. Let's say we want it all the way towards the end somewhere here. There we go. So when you're designing your ebook in Canva, don't feel limited to what the template provides. You can always go and incorporate other layouts and pages within Canva. Once you are done editing your ebook, how do you go about sharing and saving your ebook so that others can read it. So we can go to the top corner and then press the share icon. Under the file type, you can see the number of options. Let's say we wanna save it as a PDF standard. We can select that, select the pages that you want saved, but we are going to save all of them. And let's select download. It's preparing the design. Next, it's going to ask you where you wanna save the PDF file. You can save it to iCloud, to your files. You can also save it to Dropbox, so it's your choice. However, if you are using an Android device, you may have different options here. The other way is to simply share your ebook, and we can do it by going back to the share and go to the view only link, tap that once, and you're given this unique link to then copy. Now I'm going back to my notes app and I'll paste in that URL that I just copied. And this is a specific link that you wanna to share to your customers, your viewers, your subscribers, whoever it may be. Of course, feel free to use a link shortening service such as Bitly, so Bitly, and then we can go to shorten the link, paste in that exact URL that we just copied, shorten it, and there we go. We've got a shorter link that we can share on social media or wherever else. But to preview what your ebook looks like with that share link, here's what it looks like. We've got the title page. You can see there are 11 pages and users can browse through it themselves, scroll, swipe, and read your ebook in that way rather than a PDF document that they have to download. So it's a quick and fast way if you do want to get your ebook out there and simply use that share link that Canva provides. All right, and there you have it. That's how to create an ebook in Canva on your mobile device. Now you can create ebooks on the go. You don't need a laptop, a desktop computer. All you need is your mobile device, download Canva and away you go. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, by all means, give this video a quick thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications too if you're new. And I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next right here.